Hi, this is Vintage Toilets Vermont, and I'm going to run the water usage test to see approximately how much water the 1957 Cadet uses. Again, it's the same as before. Flush the toilet with the water off, and then refill the tank with gallon jugs, and count how many times I have to pour water into the tank, and then see how much is left over. So here goes the flush. We probably have a couple of inches of water in the tank. I'm filling the jugs up to the X, and here comes gallon number one. And we're about up to the guide on the overflow tube. Gallon number two. Right about here. Gallon number three. Just below the water line. Gallon number four to the water line. Okay, I'm at the water line, and I would say three and a half gallons, or maybe a little bit more. So let's just call it three and a half gallons. The tank has been filled manually to the water line. I've turned the water back on, and I'm going to hold the bowl refill tube into the gallon jug, and we'll see how much water comes back. Jug is filling, and the fluid master seems to have more of a flow through the refill tube than the quirky quiet fill does. So I won't be a bit surprised to see more water in this jug when the fluid master shuts off. This is about 20 pounds of water pressure. Under normal conditions, like with a pump or city pressure, uh, the flow rate coming out of the bowl refill tube would be more.
and you can see I collected a gallon of water. So I am going to say that this toilet uses four and a half to five gallons of water per flush. I will end this video with another flush of the 1957 Standard Cadet.